What's going on YouTube? This your boy Q here with another video. And today guys I'm gonna bring you another video of the sneaker previews episode two. I had before, but you know, two. And as you can see is the Under Armour Carry Low Twos. Uh, this is my first pair of uh, carries, so I was kind of shocked at how they turned out. I wanted to make sure I actually play basketball in them to actually give them type of feel before I give this sneaker review to you guys. Well, all my sneaker reviews, I kind of, I kind of want to fill the shoe out before I like give you guys my personal opinion before I even like put on the shoe. A lot, I know a lot of people do sneaker reviews and don't even put on the shoe and try it out for a couple of days. So it's kind of different when I'm doing my sneaker reviews. I actually try these shoes out. I ran in them. I walked in them several days. I played basketball in these shoes about three times, so I actually can give you my preference on the fit. The friction of how it stops on the court. If you're looking for a pair of shoes to pick up and looking for another pair of basketball shoes to pick up, and you happen to like this video, you definitely can pick it up. I will leave the link in the description where I got this pair of sneakers from. I did get it from underarmor.com, the official website. Also, before I get this video started today, guys, please like, subscribe, comment down below, show your boy some love. Let's get into it, man. So when I brought these shoes, I would look at the box. First thing I always do look at the box. And when I saw the box, I realized that the box was actually a lot different from my other Under Armour shoes. This one, I think Steph Curry, all his shoes actually come with a custom box. So yeah, as you can peep that the logo is right there in the front. The S SC, Steph Curry, you got the Under Armour symbol right there. Uh, yellow and black, I'm pretty sure that's just um, the general color of his team. And you got the Under Armour symbol right there in the back of the box size nine and a half you know the original price was 119.99 but they were on sale for 89.99 they currently are on sale at the moment right now so that's what i say if you guys would like to pick up your shoes you can't get a uh, deal on them and there's a lot of deal on a lot of unarmed stuff so the packaging is a lot different as well they even have this they own stuff carry packaging paper so that was even pretty inventive for uh you know, carry stuff carry line you know having Having Steph Curry is one of their top brand people. Let's get this box out of the way. They did go with the original color. Right now, these are the only ones on the website. They are. There were other colors in the past, but I think they all got sold out and they just stopped out bringing the Steph Curry 2 lows onto the website. So these are the only colors they actually have. I didn't mind this colorway because this colorway can also go with a lot of things I actually wear. It's nice that it's a nice basic colorway with the gum bottoms. I didn't, like I said, I didn't mind it. It was something that is really comfortable as well and something portable. So there's a couple of things that I noticed when I first brought the pair. Every time I always get a pair of shoes, I always check the soles and see the glue job. How did, it, uh, how did the factory did they job on the glue? I don't know. I guess it's like, I guess being a sneakerhead and actually working for a sneaker, sneaker company several times, I always check to see how how is the glue job on the shoe. So that's why I always check. And the glue job was not not that bad. They could do it a little bit better, but you see a little bit of dried up glue right there. Um, a little bit of dried up glue right there too. They could do a little bit better, but in my point, I didn't really care too much about that part because this is actually a hooping shoe. I mean, I'm not trying to look OD pretty on a dab on court anyway. So a little bit dried up glue right there, but that's the only that's one of the downfalls on it. So, um, glue job could have been a lot better. Positive thing about it, one thing that really caught my eye was this quotation that he has right here and it, it says I can do all things I really like that and I feel like it's very inspiring to his uh, his fans and to younger people that, you know that really looks up to you know Steph Curry as a role model also he actually has his logo on the tongue so he has his logo right his logo right there on the tongue SC you also got speed force right there embroidered into the sneaker they had speed force on on the um, I can't think of it right now. What is this called? On the um, shoot, I can't think of it right now. But they had Speed Force labeled right there. But I guess me playing basketball and the friction on my foot and sock, I guess it rubbed off. So that's another negative that I would hope Under Armour do fix. Uh, you know, in the future, hopefully they fix that with the uh, Steph Curry Force because I will be picking up a pair soon. Not yet though. But I hope they fix that part that did rub off pretty easy. It rubbed off it like the second time me wearing it. So that was kind of disappointing. Got this nice silky material on the heel part. It has a nice um, nice missile, nice cushion missile. So when you jump and land, it actually dissolves your foot to um, absorb the, the pressure. And it actually contained the pressure in you know, all in one shoe. When I brought these, I actually was sliding all over the floor. I was wondering why. 
So when I was keep playing basketball, basketball, I started to get a little bit better, but I'd still be sly when I'd like try to do like a step back or, or like, I don't know, between the legs, something like that, I would slide. So I figured it out. It was, it's actually like this little plate. It's a little plate right here that actually covers up like an inch, an inch of this bottom part right there. I actually don't like how that design, but you know, I'm not too picky about it, but just that little flaw design, uh, I hope they, they will actually pay attention more to and I I actually look and actually on like majority of the you know carry tubes. So I don't see how he played in these because I'd be sliding all over the floor but I don't know I guess that's just me. But I will give you guys a little more close up look on them so don't just stay tuned. She said it's coffee and it's just so we can speak. You always telling me that I'm just overly naive. I know that you don't get it but it's more than just an ex. It's more than just our past and it's more than just some sex. It's complicated and I get that you don't get it. But if you knew where I was at, you wouldn't sweat it The things we can't control are usually the strongest We've been gone for a while, but that was still the longest You at me now, so the passion hurt, hey. You gotta trust me if you want this to work, hey. I'm being honest, I don't wanna tell lies But your attitude is present, so I need to know why why, why you gotta act like that? No, I love you, that's true You ain't gotta be rude she keep asking me why, why you gotta act like that? No, I love you, that's true. You ain't gotta be rude. She keep asking me why. That's mostly it, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do an on feed look. Uh, it is nighttime at the time, so uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. So next next video, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna aim for. I'm gonna try to do an on feed look for you guys to show you guys how I look on feet with pants or shorts or whatever joggers, socks over top of your joggers, or however you look. This shoe is mostly this shoe is mostly good for people with square feet. If, if you guys been watching my videos, you know that I have square feet, and this is actually really really comfortable. It's a square foot type of person. It's very comfortable. It's breathable. It's venable. My feet don't sweat inside the shoe. So it is good shoes. The shoe do have do you have pros and cons? Pro ventilation, uh, great style of shoe, uh, structure, and somewhat somewhat good. Negatives, which the friction of the bottom of the shoe is a little bit more resistible when you playing basketball on the court, not just whenever you playing like two hours, you slipping the side over the floor. So I wish that would be a little bit worked on. Uh, another, another negative part towards it is that the shoe actually ankle support is okay. It's not 100% on ankle support. So if you do play basketball on these, if you don't have weak ankles, you definitely this definitely will be a good shoe. If you have weak ankles, do wear an ankle brace with these bad boys because the ankle support it actually cups right underneath your uh, right underneath that bone of your ankle. So it really cups right there. So you might want to. Be careful when you uh, definitely play basketball. Needs you one good step and you really can you know sprain your foot or break something in something towards your foot. But that's it for the video, guys. And that's something really really short. I really hope you like this video. If you think this is a great pickup, definitely leave a comment down below. Definitely read and reply to it. It's your boy Q, man. I'm out. Peace.